but I can tell you, the um, that day that it was a Friday because I got the call at Thursday, the day before at five o'clock, from uh, from the CEO of Valero. You know, there was a history there. Back in, uh, I took office, Matt and I took office in January of 2009. And the first company that we met with was Valero. The, the, the plant manager at the time come, came to visit me in my office in Wilmington and he, he came to tell me how difficult things were at the refinery and how much money was being lost. And I said, well, what can we do to be helpful? And he said, well, if you can change the oil markets, you can help. But if you can't do that, there's really not much you can do. A couple months went by, I was still here and challenging things about the refinery and I just decided to pick up the phone and I called Bill Clessy in, in San Antonio. And uh, I said, I just want to introduce myself, Governor of Delaware, you got a big uh, refinery here and I wanted to, you know, want to introduce myself. And he said, I want to come see you. And I didn't really think that was a positive thing, the way, you know, the tone. But I said, okay. And we met right here, we came to the refinery. And Bill, and he, by the way, he was always very straight with me. He came and he came with a stack of papers showing me how challenged the industry was and how challenged the refinery was. And uh, I asked him the same question. I said, what can we do to help? And he said the same thing. He said, if you can change the oil markets, you can help. And if you can't, there's really not much you can do. That was around May of 2009. In September of 2009, he called me and he said, uh, we're going to shut down one of the units here. Uh, it's the only thing, it's going to be about 150 jobs. Hate to see it happen, but it's the only thing that we can think of that'll keep the place uh, going. And I didn't like it. Uh, I was really unhappy about the 150 jobs, but it was going to keep all the other jobs going. And that was in September. And then it was November. And I will never forget, I was sitting there and I got a call at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, he said, Governor Bill Clessy, and we're announcing tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock uh, that we're going to be shutting down the refinery. And it was an unbelievable kick in my, I don't have to tell you, but it was an unbelievable kick in my gut. And so, in fact, it was announced that next day and not too long thereafter, I did come out, as, as Ken said. And for how, were any of you there that day I came to, uh, to visit? So you remember. I mean, it was, uh, uh, you were not happy, and I wasn't happy. And, uh, and as Ken said, and I appreciate it, remember, I, I couldn't make any promises about an outcome. All I could promise was every effort that we could muster. And so we spent a couple months with talking to buyers, potential buyers literally all over the world. We talked to CEOs of refinery companies in this country. We talked to folks um, in other countries. We talked to ambassadors of oil producing nations. We talked to people in the investment business. 